What's up, Raider Nation? Raider Joe, back at it with another video. On the go, low key, I'm in the car. Didn't want to wake up the family. Um, quick little recap on the game and uh, just my thoughts, man. Um, first of all, great game, man. Oops, almost dropped my phone. Great, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> great game. This was the perfect example of a team effort. Derek Carr didn't have a great game. He had a pretty good game, right? Two picks. I'd say one of them, the one to Moreau, is probably not his fault. It's a little bit on Moreau. But overall, man, he had a pretty good game. Jacobs. My goodness, man. Jacobs, if they don't pay this man after the last game of the season, I'm going to be pissed off. We need to re-sign that man immediately. And yeah, I said it immediately, man. Resign that man as soon as possible. Um, I got to say this too, man. And I feel like I don't say it enough. My apologies. But the offensive line, man, I'm really impressed with the offensive line stepping up in, in key, you know, key moments, whether it be run blocking, pass blocking. It seemed like Derek Carr had a lot of time back there, man. Uh, I love to see it. You know, Derek Carr looked... Very comfortable back there. We even seen Derek Carr run a couple times, man. That was dope. I know a lot of people get on him about being mobile and stuff. Hey, he got mobile today, so that's dope. Um, Mac Hollins continues to struggle a little bit. He did have a touchdown today, so that was dope. That was dope to see that. But I want to see him do better, man. Just like our quarterback, just like everybody. I want to see everybody do better, you know. Um, who else, man? Um... Foster Moreau had a drop, but he made up for it as well with a touchdown, man, to tie the game. And that was that was big, man. That was really big. That touchdown to tie the game, man. That was that was clutch, bro. That's that right there is something that this team, other than last week, hasn't really been able to do, man. They haven't really been able to drive down that field and tie a game or win a game. And today and last week, they've done it twice in a row. And uh, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful to see. You know what I mean? They're they're finally picking things up. They're they're clicking. They're meshing together. The the energy after the game in that locker room, you could still you could tell, bro. It's 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 building. You know that camaraderie, that brotherhood. It's building, man. It's beautiful to see that, man. I love to see the Raiders um, rally around the quarterback, rally around Jacobs, all these key pieces, man, that that help us win the game. It's a it's an awesome thing to see defensively hey man mad max he got in there on a big sack i think it was late in the third or fourth quarter i can't remember um Bilal nichols um chandler jones man <clears throat> i feel like the stats today don't show it but i feel like he was getting to the quarterback obviously he didn't have any sacks but he was getting in there he was you know pressuring a little bit so it's good to see i wish he could have more sacks right we all do but He's just not getting fully there. You know what I mean? It, hopefully he can get there at some point. Maybe maybe his time's later in the season, you know, as we, as we get into these later games here. But, <coughs> excuse me, um, uh, Deron Harmon with a pick. Um, Perryman, Perryman with a pick. Now, that was surprising to see because the middle of that field, man, they, the Seahawks just kept attacking that middle of the field, man. We, we were giving up big plays and that's why man we chose to go for that field goal uh in overtime and we basically just handed the Seahawks the ball I'm gonna be honest with you man even as a Raider fan I gotta admit it I thought the game was over because I thought man there's no way in hell we're gonna win this game we just gave these guys perfect ball uh field position and they're just gonna attack the middle of the field and all they need is a field goal I mean I think all they needed was 20 yards or less and they were in field goal range, and they could have won it just right there, you know. But the fact that our defense stepped up, man, an, you know, another key stop, it was big. And let me just say this, man. I'm almost out of here. I'm almost done. I've been on a, I've been on a live with, with Raider Gabe, and I've been spending a lot of time on here. But I want to say this, man. This game, just like last game, it had 2021 written all over it, man. Like, for real. It had 2021 all over it. The vibe of this game was 2021, just like the last game. 
And I'm not complaining, man, because you saw, man, today they gave up 30-some-odd points, but they still found a way to win. The defense came up with key stops, and the Raiders scored when they had to in key in key situations. So that's just what it was, man. But anyways, everybody have a good rest of your night. Enjoy the win. If you're mad about the win, hey, man, you, you know what you could do, man. You can kick rocks, but it is what it is. I'm going to focus on the people that want to be here, that want to see us win, because that's what we came to do, man. Just win, baby. Just win. On to the chokers next. Let's get this dub. A nice little division win would be dope. We'll see what happens. Let's keep the momentum going, and hopefully we can, we can you know, answer back with another one, man. First time we got back-to-back wins all season. Good to see that. First uh, win in Seattle since I was friggin' two years old, man. I was born in 96. The Raiders haven't won in Seattle since 1998, man. So that's another big milestone that they were able to, uh, to, finally, to finally cross. So anyways, man, with that being said, everybody have a good night. You already know what it is. It's the Silver and Black Vibe Show. It's Raider Joe. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Go Raiders, baby. Just win.